Hi, this is Jim Bergman with the iManifold Group. Today I wanted to just go over with you a little bit about how I manage my iManifold gauge set and how to set it up so that it's just, you get the most productivity out of the product. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit on how we hook up the hoses, how we hook up the, the uh, thermistors, and how we get everything set up to get measurements. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice is that when I set up my iManifold, one of the things I do is I Velcro my temperature sensors right to my hoses. The reason I do that is so when I take off this hose set here, I have the, if I have the high side probe, I also have the high side sensor. Now, one of the things I did on mine is I Velcroed the bulk of the excess wire right to the hose here, and I have just enough here that I can work with. So when I go to connect this hose up to the fitting, I know that I need to connect this guy up right to the liquid line, and I'll get a, a nice uh, positive connection, and I don't have to manage a lot of wire. The next thing you're going to notice is I use a couple of Velcro straps to the back. And I do this because I use a discharge line temperature sensor and I keep it stored back there. And when I'm ready to use it, I just take it off and uh, flip these back over and I'm ready to go. Now you also notice the back here I have a foam block. And that foam block is used to keep water from getting into the case. And the foam block, if you don't have one, please call our customer service team. They'll send you one out at no charge. But this foam block is something you always want to use, and if you do get caught in the rain, it'll help keep moisture out of the I-manifold back. The other thing that this does is because I'm always leaving the temperature probes plugged into the back of the I-manifold, I'm not putting excess wear and tear on my jacks. The only thing that'll wear out a headphone set is when you're constantly putting it in and out. They're probably good for about 5,000 cycles, um, and what we want to do is make sure that we're not used pulling them in and out every time that we use the I-manifold. So by keeping the cords attached to the I-manifold, by keeping these plugged into the back, again, it'll save a lot of excess wear and tear, and we're gonna make sure that we don't get moisture into the I-manifold if we get caught in a little light rain. All right, so we're on a heat pump system here, and there's a couple different things you need to understand when you hook up your I-manifold. It's just like hooking up a regular gate set, but I just wanna make clear a couple of things. Number one on a heat pump system, you always wanna connect the suction side to the true suction line, which is off the top of the reversing valve on a compressor. So we're actually gonna hook up to this port right down here. We don't wanna hook up to this line, which is called the vapor line on a heat pump system. The reason it's the vapor line is because in the reverse cycle, in the heating cycle, the hot gas can flow out this way. In the cooling cycle, the cool suction gas flows back this way. So this line can be either high pressure or low pressure. This line up here is always suction pressure, always low pressure gas. The other high side, we want to hook up to the liquid line. So we're going to go ahead and we'll get the I-manifold hoses out and we're going to get everything hooked up and connected. So you can see here, when I pull this hose off and I'm going ahead and hook it up, get my hose straight, there we go. So now I got that put on snug. I can take off my temperature probe here. I've got enough cord here that I can easily get and put this on the liquid line. So I'll just pull this around. And these are pipe strap probes, so you just pull through and snap like that. Take them off, you just lift on it. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and put that on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my low side. And we'll put that on. Now you'll notice that I put my hoses on the hose park tight, and you actually do that for a reason. The reason you hook up tight to your hose parks is to make sure that you don't get any moisture uh, in your refrigerant hose. The new refrigerants, especially like 410A, contain PoE oil, and PoE is very hydroscopic. So we wanna make sure that we're not um, uh, getting moisture in the hose when it's disconnected. So you always wanna keep your hoses parked nice and tight. Again, we'll just put this through and pull it through the V and pull it snug. One thing you never wanna do with these probes is to rock them on the, on the line. They grip extremely tight. You can't really even lift this on here. If you rock it on the line, you're gonna damage the probe. Uh, if you do need to sand your lines, if these aren't if they aren't clean, sand them with sandpaper, not with a probe, or you're gonna or you're gonna damage it. So now that we have the low and the high side connected, our liquid line and our suction line temperature sensors on, the only other thing we got to do is turn on the I manifold and get things going. Just like a standard manifold set, the gauge ports are all closed when we're measuring pressures. The only time you open these up is when you're adding or removing refrigerant. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take you through next the commissioning process in another video and walk you through the process.